This is, this is huge news. This is huge. So let's see, Steven Stetson coming here for the first time at Wrestling Open. What is he going to bring to the table, especially facing down someone like the Megasis? As Stetson clearly taking his time. Is he gonna take his hat off or what? Okay, I was just making sure. Well, here we go. We are underway. The Megasis, Megan Bain, standing toe to toe with Steven Stetson. I saw Steven Stetson earlier, and he is a tall drink of water. He's easily six foot seven, and Megan Bain almost eye to eye with him. So this is going to be maybe her most unique and interesting challenge she has faced to date. Collar and elbow tie up. And the Megasis is not backing down and Stetson is backed up into the corner. And a break here. And as she is wont to do, the Megasis bringing that aggression and fury into those shoulder blocks. Off the rope she goes and Stetson goes crashing down. Runs right into a body slam. Megan Bain is right there. Picks Stetson up, no, off the ropes. Stetson with a big time spinning slam. The Megasis is rocked. She can perhaps count her blessings that Stetson unable to make the cover after that attempt because he is still reeling after those shoulder tackles in the corner. And now Stetson doing to Bain what she did to him just a minute ago. Into the corner on the Irish whip, bounces right back. And that is a big body slam from Steven Stetson as he has seemingly slowed down the pace of this match and is really going to bring the pain to the Megasis. I didn't know they had six shooters in Jersey. But there you go, the Jersey Cowboy. They're chanting yeehaw here. I just... Stetson needs to focus because Bain is firing back into this. Stetson coming from money. But all the money in the world can't teach you a boot like that. He drops the Megasis, and there is a big elbow, almost flattened her face. Hooks the leg. Two. Two. And I emphasize that because Stetson is feeling the same way I felt. Unable to believe that Bain was able to get the shoulder up, especially after the devastation of that elbow drop. Say what you want about uh, the old Jersey Cowboy, but man, he is really showing he has great fundamentals, great footwork, and great execution on all of his maneuvers. So now the Megasis, in a spot we have not seen her before. She is reeling. Stetson misses. If his shoulder didn't hit that post, his midsection hit that second turnbuckle, and his elbow just hit the mat as Megan Bain able to roll out of the way. Forearm shot. A right hand by Stetson. Needs to be careful on that closed fist. And look at that, the Megasis wants more. She is fired up. She wanted to challenge herself and she is bringing the fight to that challenge. Back and forth they go. Samoan drop. And a senton to follow. Hooks the leg. Almost. The Megasis has to be wondering 
am I even going to be able to dig deep enough to pull out my usual arsenal of the tombstone, of the bow down? But she doesn't have to ask anymore because Stetson just rocked her. Continuing to fight is Bane. Ripcord. Reversed. And Stetson with a powerful spine buster. And again, the Megasis answering the call, answering the challenge. And Stetson starting to think, maybe my best isn't enough. We have five minutes left in this contest. If this keeps going at the pace, wait, no. Backdrop. Turns him around, can she get it? Can she get it? Stone. The Megasis with the victory. Here is your winner, Megasis, Megan Bain. It was a shock to everybody watching, including myself, that Megan Bain walked through that curtain to take on the one and only Jersey Cowboy, Steven Stetson. But if she wanted a challenge, she went above and beyond. And this crowd showing their respect and appreciation. In times past, they hadn't really appreciated truly what they saw with Megan Bain, but they are showing just how much really they like her. There's no other way to put it.